Recently on this channel, I made what is basically a movie showing off the insane level 1 challenge run I did in Super Paper Mario, which ended up being maybe my favorite challenge run I've done on this channel to date, so naturally I wanted to continue it into the post game. And as any avid Super Paper Mario enjoyer would know, there's a ton of post game content in this game, including 3, or technically 4, if you know you know, endurance dungeons that test your combat mastery pretty hard. So, for today, let's focus on the flip side Pit of 100 Trials, which is the first thing I turn to after finishing the main story. Normally this dungeon really isn't all that difficult, since the enemies start out as chapter 1 level enemies and end around chapter 8 level enemies, but of course, at level 1, we only have one attack with Mario, Peach, and Luigi, and a whopping two with Bowser, so literally every single enemy is a chore to defeat. On top of the low attack, we're also stuck with a maximum of 10 HP, which means once we get to floor 40 or so, we're basically 3 or 4 hits from death at any given moment. And given the tight space and enemy density that some of these floors have, it is nearly impossible to do this without getting hit. This ended up being an insane test of patience, endurance, and execution, so let's skip all the BS and jump right into it. Oh, and subscribe, maybe? Thanks! Before bothering with silly, mundane things like preparation or gearing up, I decided to head straight into the flipside pit to get a gauge for what exactly I was up against. Sure, I've fought a lot of enemies throughout this playthrough, but the format of the pit is unlike anything else in the game and forces you into really close quarters with a ton of enemies at the same time, so I just wanted to see how it would go. And, well, here is how it did go. Okay, so for right now, some people say that Dottie is like extra cracked, but I hate Dottie, so I kind of don't want to use her. Oh, hey, look at that. I feel like I'm going to go Bowser and Barry for now, but if things get ridiculous, then we'll uh, we'll swap to Dottie. Yeah, I do really like the music in here, honestly. It's a lot better than uh, it's a lot better than the one in Thousand Year Door. Oh, see, look, this is what I'm talking about item-wise. Look at that. We already got a shroom shake. Like, that's actually so good. That was literally free. That's a 10 HP heal that just dropped. Yeah, there is a timer on every floor also, which is kind of annoying, in my opinion. I wish that they just, like, you know, didn't have that. Oh my god, I missed Barry already. There's some damage. God, I have to two-hit these enemies on the third floor. So annoying. What does the timer even do? When it runs out, I think it kills you. Does it kill you or does it kick you out? All right, hop onto my thing. Hop onto my flame. Okay, he had the key. Okay, yeah, when you run out of the timer, it does kill you. I don't even know if I've ever ran out of time while doing this dungeon. Okay, another thing to do that's very convenient is to swap to Mario and then drop down here. Yeah, the timer might be a threat now because uh, I don't have a whole lot of damage. So some of the harder floors are going to be uh, pretty long, but I'm just, I'm, I'm optimistic, honestly. I th I don't think the timer is going to be an issue even at level one, especially if we abuse Dottie, that should let us clear through enemies pretty quickly. Okay, I'm getting the keys pretty quick though. We're making good progress on the early floors, but Bowser's so weak even for here. Hopefully my item drops can just like outlast the, uh, the damage that I'm taking, but I'm going to have to be careful. Oh my god, an attack item? That's also nice. We'll probably use that. <laughs> I know being careful is not exactly part of my brand, but I'm gonna give it I'm gonna give it my best shot. Okay, so jumping on that guy is definitely a good choice. Oh my god, the key drops are kind of cracked. How am I getting so many of them? Okay, we're already 10% of the way done. But unfortunately, it just gets exponentially harder. So there's the Tippy card. Rest in peace, Tippy. She's sadly passed away uh, in the last stream of this, but. It's okay. I really don't know if I want to do the Samur Kingdom fights. I really don't know. Because those get to the point where it's like one mistake, I will die in one hit. I think I would have to bring like a full inventory of life shrooms for it. Can I even damage this guy or do I need to use an item? Can I cudge him? Can he get cudged on? He can't get cudged on. Can I get thudlied on? Okay, well he can hit me. Dude, what is this hitbox? This game's hitboxes are so bad. I could also use Boomer against them. Okay, next time I take a hit, I'm gonna use my Shroom Shake already. Your Boomer's probably the play. Okay, there's the key. Okay, ready for the strat? Ready? Watch this, watch this. Do 
Pokemon. Oh, let's go. Check that. That was pretty clean. <laughs> that was pretty clean. Okay, well, it was clean once I actually got it, okay? <laughs> oh god, these things are awful. These things are awful. They do so much damage for no reason. Oh, I hate these things too. These things are awful for a different reason. These don't even have the, uh, any HP. They're just annoying. Dotty strats. Let's start Dotty strats. I want to see how effective it is. Okay, well, I'm... <laughs> Dude, this game sucks. <laughs> I can't believe you could do that. So stupid. So I'll probably keep Dotty as my active partner, honestly. Unfortunately, I think that's just something I'm going to need to do. I should probably use one of my Shroom Shakes soon, but I can still tank one more hit at this stage. So things are okay. But it's going to get to the point where I have to be quite careful. Okay, sure. <laughs> All right. I just didn't want to kick his shell because I know kicking his shell is bad. Um, okay, these guys are immune to fire. Um, is this a boomer moment? Uh, wait, dude, they're unkillable. Wait, how do I kill this guy? Use carry to jump on them. You're right. That's it. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Let's eat the first shroom shake. <laughs> okay. How do I get rid of this? Don't I just have to, like, jump on it enough times? Or I could just hammer it, actually. I think that was the solution. Doesn't have no defense when it's right here. No, it still does. Um... I think I just have to, like, kick it around until it dies. Go into 3D and it despawns. Wait, that really? Is that a, is that true? It, it didn't despawn. Let it die on its own. It dies uh, after bouncing on the wall enough times. Okay, I should probably uh, kill all of them then. Go 3D so I can make it go off screen. Oh, wait, they just hit each other. That was 2000 IQ. Okay, that wasn't that bad. That was the longest we've spent on a floor so far, but it's fine. It's fine. We have solutions. We have solutions. Okay, we probably want Dotty again. Did they just, like, act like they can't see? Oh, my God. They can't see anything now. Oh, but it's still, like, really risky to try to hit them. Oh, I think I have a Boo card. Okay, that works. That works. Okay, so we'll just play as Baby Bowser for now. <laughs> yeah, catch cards would help for this, but I really don't want to farm catch cards at all. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh. Dude, I'm getting scammed. I'm getting scammed. Uh, okay. Well, there goes more heals. Yeah, I don't think this is going to go well without um, having healing items. The way that you spawn just, like, destroys you sometimes. Like, I don't know if I need to, like, start with berry or what. Dude, how much health does a fuzzy have? Okay. Okay, Dried Shroom, that's actually useful. That's a 10% of our health heal. It's just a single Chain Chomp. Wait, can I even kill this? Can I even kill this Chain Chomp? I don't know how much defense it has, and I have no way to find out because I don't have uh, any sort of tippy. All right, rush at me, rush at me. No, Boomer doesn't damage it. I probably need to have Bowser out to use Boomer, though. Let's try that one more time. Nope, no damage. I do have an Ice Storm, but I want to use this time that I have to experiment with, uh, like, seeing if I can kill it. We're learning that we will get soft locked on this floor, potentially. Dude, come out this way. No, Thudley doesn't damage him either. Nah, this thing's hard as hell. Okay, I have to use an item. Okay, this is gonna be bad. This is gonna be really bad. <laughs> Uh, we might have to come in with attack items on subsequent attempts, or we will be okay, one or the other. Oh, thank god I'm using Bowser now. Oh, thank god this thing takes knockback. God, this would be a better strategy if Bowser did any damage. Okay, there's that. Why am I shrinking against Goombas and Koopas? Because everything is a threat. I don't have like any healing items right now, so I need to be like extra careful. I need to pretty much shrink whenever possible and just scope out floors. But man, this experience so far, this is just the first 30 floors. I'm already feeling like the flop side pit is going to be a little bit beyond us, especially because farming catch cards for that place is going to be extra annoying. 
because all of the enemies are separate enemies and they're all exclusive. God, I only have six health and no healing items right now. This is bad. This is not ideal. Patience is going to be the name of the game here. It may not be glamorous, but this is results that you're looking at right here. Oh my god, I'm just bad. How did I even do that? Okay, well, the first one had the key. Okay, but it takes knockback, so I can get past it. Although I can honestly probably just jump over them because I have the keys. I mean, unless these guys have good drops, because I really need drops. Like, I probably should be killing these, like, free enemies right now, but they have so much health. There's so much. <laughs> okay, I see the real one. I just need to get to him safely, but he's created a minefield in the air. Okay, there we go. Defeated the real one. Okay, nice. I can't believe I didn't take damage from that. <laughs> Honestly, that was kind of close. Okay, this enemy is actually great for us. He just requires three hits to kill, and then he's GG, and he's got, like, underwear. So that's a funny detail. No! That damage was bullshit. Oh, my God. Bowser's hitbox just, like, really sucks. Oh, dude, I can't even... He's too tall. I don't think Barry damages the clefts. I already tried that. Dude, I hate this f***ing game. Why? I, Dude, I swear to God. I swear to God, I hate their hitboxes so much. Come on, please. Uh, let's see, what floor am I on? Do you think I can last till 40 and maybe buy a healing item? Because that would be clutch. That would be clutch. Let's see, what is this? It's only 35. Okay, let's just hope one of these little purple guys has the, the key, honestly, so I don't have to deal with these other more different guys. Uh. Okay, uh, yeah, that was terrifying. Yeah, I probably will damage myself. Otherwise, you're right. I think I just need to not be a loser about it. Yeah, come over here. Come at me. Come at me. Okay. All right, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Get out of this fucking floor. Oh my God. <laughs> Dude, every single floor is terrifying now. I'm just going to get spawn killed on one of these. I know it. I fucking hate this floor. This floor is awful. This floor is awful. I'm so dead. Dude, I knew I was gonna get spawn killed. This guy sucks. Those ninjas are awful. Okay, clearly it was going to take a mixture of better execution and proper preparation, so I took what I learned and started cooking up a plan. One of the major problems I ran into was just how much defense some of the enemies had. The Chain Chomp, for example, spawns on floor 25 and has four defense, which, if you watched the last video, you should know is unkillable with any attacks that we have. Four is the maximum amount of damage that Bowser can deal using either Thudley or Kudge, and it still can't get through his defense, meaning that we're required to use items to beat the Chain Chomp, right? Not exactly. There is one way in this game to deal extra damage to enemies without leveling up and without using the plus items to permanently increase stats. Let's go gambling! Catch cards are one of my favorite mechanics in Super Paper Mario, and it is literally just an elaborate gotcha game. It replaces the tattle log from Thousand Year Door to serve as Super Paper Mario's bestiary, but it gives an additional benefit beyond that. Each copy of a catch card you hold for an enemy doubles your attack power. That is to say, each card adds an additional instance of your base damage. So one catch card will double your attack, two will triple your attack, three will quadruple your attack, and so on and so forth. It would be absolutely incredible if it doubled the previous damage exponentially, but honestly, I can kind of see why they might not have done that. This is going to make it possible for me to deal way more damage to my enemies, meaning that I don't completely require attack items to make progress. Now, I know what you're probably thinking. This also sounds a lot like a permanent buff, right? Isn't that against the rules of the challenge? Well, as it turns out, you can sell as many copies of any catch card as you want, including the rare unique ones that you can never acquire again. So basically, I'm using a loophole in my own rules so that this isn't impossible. Plus, as a small bonus, buying the catch cards in this game is also really addicting. You spend 10 coins, you get a fun little card that boosts your stats, and then you spend 10 coins, get a fun little card that boosts your stats, and then you spend 10- See where I'm going with this? 
I'm pretty sure Chat and I spent like three hours just buying and selling catch cards during the whole post-game grind. I'm truly one of the content creators of all time. If you played this game before, you might remember catching enemies with blank catch cards in order to add them to your inventory and get the specific ones that you want. I definitely remember doing that, and I figured it would be the best way to get some of those really specific cards that I really needed extra damage from. And apparently the game must use your level or your score to calculate the odds of a catch card working because I could not get a single one to work throughout the entire game. Not one of them, no matter what enemy. I tried a regular catch card, I tried the better catch card SP, and I tried using them on weak enemies like Goombas or Squiglets that should be pretty much guaranteed, and I still couldn't get anything. I tried finding what the actual formula was for catch cards, but after more than one minute of intensive research, I couldn't find anything except this random GameFAQs article from 16 years ago where somebody couldn't catch an Amazy Daisy when they were at a low level. And that's where the catch card community stands today. MDF MK Rules 9999 went on the record stating, It's easier to catch once you've leveled up a bunch. We have not learned anything new about catch cards since then. They work better when you're a high level and worse when you're a low level. Thank you, Super Paper Mario, and you too, MDF. There is one alternative to the gacha game we can do, which is the flop side card shop. Instead of selling random packs, this guy has a randomly generated inventory of 10 cards or so that are set to their actual card values instead of costing that flat rate of 10 coins. This is worth it if some of the higher defense enemies like Chain Chomps or even the worse Red Chomp spawn, but other than that, it's generally more lucrative to grind the flip side shop. When we do this, we get a bunch of cards for non-defensive enemies, which is still useful because we can kill them in less hits. So anyways, I've done enough explaining, so let's dive into attempt number two. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna no holds barred, just ram through this. That's how we're gonna get back to where we were. Why is my gaming laptop running out of memory on a simple stream? This is quite a complex stream, actually. We do a lot here. There's only two of them on this. Oh, there's three. Huh! No! <laughs> Damn it. Dude, why is Kudge so bad? Why is Kudge so bad? Oh my god. How did I take 50 million damage from that guy? Kudge is so bad. Just reset here. Nah, there's still so many free items that we could get. What are we gonna get the rest of blindfolded TTYD? Oh wait, see, here's what I was talking about. There's a free shroom shake. That's why I didn't reset. Kudge is situa situationally useful. Like against these guys, he's fine. Like that's fine, right? Okay, thank God he has the key. I don't. I hate when the slurp things have the keys. They're called slurps or slurps. They're something. Okay, I'm making good progress now that I'm just kind of moving through it. Really, with the catch cards that I have and just the uh, like fact that I've already been practicing some of this, I can actually kind of move through this. Oh, nice key. Oh wait, this guy's here early. I doubt I can afford like anything. I mean, he has a mystery. But God, his prices don't scale. That's right. They're just always bad. Oh sh! I'm early time. Dude, how am I so consistent at it? Um, I think I throw out the catch card here, honestly. Like, it seems like a waste, but the catch card's just trash. Or I could use it. You know what? Let's use it. Let's catch a spiny just because. Is this in range? Okay, thank God. I almost just wasted it. <laughs> it still doesn't even work. Yeah, when you're at level one, those things just suck. So I'm just going to throw it out. Um, Dude, they're hitboxes. Dude, they're farming me. I hate these things so much. Dude, the way that they, they like can go transparent and then like telefrag you is really, really annoying. Hammer bros are really good to use Dottie for, so of course I won't. Okay, he's done for. Oh god, other hammers are falling from the sky. <laughs> okay, another Merle. Dude, I'm getting, like, good items every time. Livestream's sick. That's sick to have. That prevents an accidental f*** up. God, this hammer bro is gonna roll me. Of course, it was this Koopa that had this. Honestly, that wasn't too bad with the, uh, the hammer bros. Wait, mods, fleep that guy. That actually holds him in place. 
And then I still get damaged by stupid clones anyway. And then he doesn't have the key anyway. <laughs> oh god. These guys. Someone had suggested Peach for them last time. God, they're so stupid. Dude! Okay, I do have the life shroom. I will eat my shroom shake here, though. God, I hate these fucking ninja guys. They're the worst. Like, I'm really worried about the floor later that has, like, the stronger version of these. Oh, another Merle. Okay, let's see if I can get a good item. Dude, I'm cracked! I'm cracked! I can get whatever I want. I can get anything. The world is my oyster. Okay, let's use 3D to cheese them. Wow, that didn't cheese them at all. That didn't cheese them at all. Mods, fleep that guy. Now I am the fire bro. Mods, fleep that guy. Fleep him. Okay, I got him. I got him. Not too much damage, but he did get like 1-3 damage on me. God, they have so much health. Um, okay, I think Bowser is better if you don't go up to the ceiling level, honestly. Because if you go up ceiling, they'll like hit your head, but you can't fire breath them. Oh, I found the key immediately. Nice. Although I'm going to get these guys out of my way. Okay, using Mario to maneuver is positive. That makes me feel positive emotions. I know, even at level one, the five minutes is absolutely trivialized. Okay, we're gonna use Barry on this floor. Dude, fing stupid ass clubba, go away. Oh my god, that destroyed them! Reflecting their own stuff is so good. Yep, this is gameplay. Yep, this is this is quality gameplay right here. This is, like, surprisingly difficult. I don't know how difficult it actually looks, but there's so much bullshit damage that you take in this game. Okay, halfway through, we're at 50. Dude, I hate Bowser's hitbox with a passion. Dude! I got bounced off of him into the other one. I swear to God, this game is going to make me lose it. It's just so many weird hitboxes. We're starting to get to later game enemies like i hear dark booze is it just one where is he why is he not coming after me okay i can't jump on this guy with carry by the way that's the thing i need to watch out for nice poison shroom there's the dark booze why did they all take so long to show up yo peachy peach that's a free 10 hp heal nice okay <laughs> sure sure why did- why did that hurt me? Dude, I hate this game's hitboxes. Oh, there's an Amazie on this floor. Oh, God. The Amazie doesn't have the key, right? Okay, no, it doesn't. Okay, I thought I was gonna have to dotty this floor. There is an Amazie. I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna leave it be. I'm just gonna leave it be. That's a one-shot. Oh, God, Magiblots are here. Oh, God. Oh, my God, dude. Magiblots are the worst. Please, somebody else have the thing. I had to, like, flip to escape him. Please give me the key. No, he doesn't have it. Wait, can I bury them? Burying them might be good. Oh, wait, you can farm them. Okay, there's one down. I only took two from him, which isn't that bad. God. Why? I pressed Barry! He doesn't even have the key. This guy had it all along, didn't he? Yep. See, every floor that I don't take damage on is big, though. No Dotty definitely seems doable, but I would rather do it just to, just to be safe. Dude, look at this guy. He sucks. <laughs> he just floated straight up into me. No, not these f***ing things. Get out of here. Oh my god. Oh, thank god. Okay, I got the key. Let's go! Damageless on a floor with the ninjas is crazy. Fooball. I'm gonna get hit. What?! I hate this game, dude. I thought those guys did four, not five.
Fuck me. Oh my god. I died on the funny floor. I thought they did four. The funny floor did indeed live up to its name. It was unfortunately pretty funny. So on to attempt number three. God damn it. Okay, so that was uh that was cringe. That was mega cringe. We might not get the flip side pit done tonight. No, we will, trust. Why did I why did I clip through him? Are they fireproof or do they have bonkers defense? They are both. Oh my god, that was goaded weight. <laughs> they hit each other. That was awesome. Dude, I'm so small. I'm so little. Just hit him. Please. Okay, life shroom drop, sure. Sure, dude. <laughs> Wait, clip over, clip over. Get his ass, get his ass, get his ass. Oh, no way, no way. Get him, get him, get him, get him. This will actually save us an attack. No, no, it ran out. Okay, I'll use my second one. <laughs> no, don't, get off of there. Get off of there, kill him. Kill my enemy, thank you. Oh God, against the pokies, I actually might like the ghost shroom. All right, let's deploy him. Deploy. Oh. Okay, well, that'll work too. That works for me. Oh, my goats. Yes. Dude, we have three of them. We're stacked. Are you fucking me? How did that not damage him? How did that not hit the bone or anything? Okay, this is 68. Next floor, I am in kill range, but I have two life shrooms, so I can't actually die. Okay, and now it's easy. That's all I have to do on this floor. And just watch out for his shell. I'm just gonna let it kill them. Yeah, we're making it past funny floor this time, guys. Trust. Okay, wait, is this... Wait, how did his shell have the key? What? Okay, I'm gonna switch to Dottie. If this is actually Rough Puffs, this is gonna be a bad one. A bad one until I flip into 3D and then flip back and then we're fine. Now it should be fine. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to play really careful until I get a Shroom Shake. Barry is higher risk, high reward. Oh my god. I like fell in between the two of them. Wait, 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 wait. I have a way, I have a way better idea. Look at this. Oh my god, somebody in chat said it. Now I feel less cool. But look at this. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes. That was so good. That was clean. Red fucking Magiblots. Okay, I think I just need to play very carefully against them. Let's go down to ground level. So I get lots of room. There's so many of them. Okay, he hit me with his body because Barry cooldown. No! I got I got destroyed by Barry right there. Our safety net is gone. Our safety net is all gone. These guys could one tap me at any moment now. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. Oh, we got Merly! We got Merly! We got Merly! Please! Please! Yes! Yes! The healing item! Yes! Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> dude, he's so good. He abuses my invincibility for- He- get, Dude! Dude! He took all of my health. I'm so- I might need to block meal or use my items. Whoa, no, 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 no. I'm gonna use a thunder rage. I'm gonna use a thunder rage. There's decent odds that this that this has the key. Yes, there's the key. There's the key. Let's get out of here, dude. This floor. No. No. My worst nightmare, dude. My worst nightmare. I had to do this, otherwise I'm. Fucked. No. I need to save a thunder rage. I. Ah, dude, he's sliding towards me. Can Bowser kill the shurikens? He can. Okay, okay, okay. We just be careful. We just be careful. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Come down here. Come down here. Come on. Uh, I don't want to chase after them. I really don't. I really don't want to chase after them, dude. Are they? They're not going to come down, are they? They're not going to come down. Oh, wait, they come down. Okay, we wait, we wait, we wait, we wait, we wait, we wait. If that guy teleported onto me, I would have lost my mind, dude. Ah! Ah! 
Ah, it still doesn't have the key! No, I have to save my last Thunder Rage. I have to save my last Thunder Rage. I need that because I think there's a red chomp floor that I'm not going to be able to do otherwise. Where is he? Where is he? Die. Have the key, please. He has the key! We lived! We lived! <laughs> Why are there more ninjas? Why? Why? <gasps> Killing that trick can give us a Merly. Please! Oh! I feel like this is scripted right now. How the f do I keep coming back from the brink? And now, swap to Peach, become invincible. Go, Shroom, go. Uh, why is it not doing anything? Help me. Help me. Dude, help me. Why is the Ghost Shroom not helping me? Please. Help me. Dude, it's not helping. It's not doing anything! I can't move around! No! Oh no, no! Okay, 98, 98. Hardest floor? People are saying hardest floor. This is the red chomp floor. How many of them are there? So if I don't hit the correct one with a Thunder Rage, I might lose, but also I have a hot sauce. Okay, I th I say we go for these three. I say we go for these three. They didn't have it. They didn't have it. They didn't have it. It was this one. So I might have to thudly hot sauce him. They have eight HP and eight defense. Wait, so is it over? We might have soft locked because I got unlucky with the Thunder Rage. Do I have a red chomp card? I don't think so. Let's see. Nope. No, I can't kill him. He's unkillable, I'm pretty sure. Unless something pierces him. Barry doesn't pierce defense. Barry doesn't pierce defense. I don't think throw does anything for me. Nah, nothing works. Nothing works. All of that work to lose to a two or a, a three out of four. All of that work to lose to a 75% chance that I would succeed. This fucking game, man. Uh... I had been playing Paper Mario for like five hours straight at this point, so I resolved to take a break and try again the next day. And once the next day arrived, I booted up Super Paper Mario and my stream and we got ready to take another crack at it. Chat and I may have gotten a little sucked into catch card polling, spending about 40 minutes straight in this damn menu before heading into the flip side pit for the first time that day. Okay, so real quick, let's look at our card collection. Let's just skim it real quick. Lot, lots of Goombas, three Paratroopas, three Koopa Patrols is pretty good. Yeah, I mean, not n there's nothing like crazy, I don't think. What's the card we have the most of? I see three copies of some things. Four Pink Fuzzies is really funny. I have four Ice Cherubles, four Boos. Nah, four is the max. I don't have five of anything. Although I have gotten like six or seven Toad cards. I've sold a bunch of them. Let's run it back. Nice. All right, funny floor is not the danger that it once was. We figured out the funny floor. Yeah, I don't know. The, to me, I'm just having fun with this challenge not being a save state challenge. Depending on what the things are, sometimes I'll use save states. But I don't know. In this case, this just feels like the more fun way to do this. Okay, never mind. This game's not fun. I take it back. Can I get to despawn from here? Oh, I can. Nice. <laughs> just use a Wii remote. I thought about um, like setting up my Wii for something recently, but I don't know where my power cords for it are at all. That's my problem is I don't... Oh god, I didn't realize this was a Magiblot floor. I thought we were chill. I thought we were chill. We weren't chill. That just scared the fuck out of me. Oh my god. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> I didn't realize their magics when you reflected them knocked each other's magic out. That would have been good to realize sooner. Dude, stop, Merly, stop. I don't want a Volt Shroom. I mean, I'll take it, but I don't want it. Like these guys all down here, they're done. They're done for. Oh my God, he almost spawned on my face. Oh my God. They're all doing it. They all did it. That was ba a mix of RNG and my plan not really working with the RNG aspect of this. Oh my god. 
That should have been fine, but the thing with them being bombs just f***ed me. It was going to be okay. Like, he's done it twice now. Why can he do that? And it's stupid, because it's just like RNG. It's a really stupid feature, honestly. Okay, you know what? Fine. Let's let's see how much better Volt Shroom works, all right? I'll give you guys your moment. I'll make I'll give you guys your moment, okay? Wow, look at that. I still took damage. Crazy that Volt Shroom's not a complete solution to this problem. Who could have predicted that? I don't know. Somebody maybe could have. Did I need this key? I just Sure. Well, Merly. Stop. Stop with the Volt Shrooms, dude. I'm over them. I'm over it. I'm so over it. That's right. There's another floor that has a couple ninjas on it for no fucking reason. I'll use a Volt Shroom again. I'll use a Volt Shroom again. Maybe it'll help. It probably won't. Wow. Good job, Volt Shroom. It really, it really helped. God, playing this game live makes me so mad. People backseat this so much harder than fucking Thousand Year Door. You got you guys backseat this game so hard. I get so many more like skill issues when I make a mistake in this game. This is a punishing game, okay? You gotta understand. Bro just doesn't know how to use Volt Shrooms. I'm not accepting that as an answer. I'm not. Oh, right, so next floor. Next floor is our PB. This is the one we got stuck on last time. This floor is the one that me up last time but this time i have two thunder rages it can't do it again hold on if i can bait the other one into oh sh you know i'm just gonna use both of them it's not worth taking any more damage watch i am gonna get the 75 percent this time watch yep there it is if i had did the if i had done this i probably would have been fine yesterday i probably would have been totally fine and i would have won okay let's go in let's go in all right magiblot time the final the final not final boss Just telefragged me. See, sometimes Barry just gets you like that. Like, I just, I just ran out of my iframes there. I ran out of my iframes. I got stuck with Barry. Dude, I have one health. Why? Standing in the middle, I told you, you're gonna get hit. You're gonna get hit when you do that. To be fair, going into the final floor, it doesn't matter because I get one shot anyway. <laughs> like, it doesn't matter how much health I have. He does 10 damage. Like, does it even matter? And after a long journey back through all the floors I had cleared yesterday, I was able to kill the red chomps and the actually threatening Magiblots on floor 99, bringing me to floor 100. Insane spoiler alert, the boss is a reskin of the dragon from the end of chapter one. Never before seen idea for a post-game dungeon? Very cool. The funny thing about it though is it actually works the same as Fractale in the sense that Racktail, the new version, also has an undefined amount of HP. Instead, he's defeated after a certain number of hits regardless how much damage those hits do. Fractail require 9 hits while Racktail requires 30 hits. This is overall a big advantage for us because it means that our low attack power has no effect on our damage output in this fight. We still, however, have only 10 HP and that makes it so we would literally be one tapped by Racktail or his stupid little Rackle minions. So here is how the fight went. Okay, just run to the right. It's quite simple. It's quite simple. It's quite simple. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I just need to not f*** up. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Hold on, Ari, I see your super chat. I will read it in a moment. One sec. Thank you for the five, though. I will. I promise I will stop and read it. Oh, sh uh, that's fine. That's fine.
<laughs> Dude. <laughs> Let's fucking go, dude. It's so free. I told you it was fine. It's so free. It's so free. <laughs> what a stupid fucking boss fight. <laughs> so now we can unlock Dashel. Hell yeah, dude. And there you have it. The flip side pit of 100 trials in Super Paper Mario beaten at level 1 without gaining any XP ever. It had its high moments and it sure had its low moments, but overall it was so much fun and helps prove just how good of a game Super Paper Mario can be to challenge run. And if you find yourself wishing this journey kept going or that this video never ended, then go thank your local wishing well or genie or birthday candles or whatever luck-based superstition you subscribe to because I have already streamed the other two post-game dungeons in Super Paper Mario, the Samur Kingdom and the Flopside Pit of 100 Trials, and there will be videos exploring those journeys in the near future. If you can't wait and you want to see how things went right now, check out the full stream archives over on Bringle VODs, but if you're more of a highlights kind of person, this is the perfect time for me to ask you to subscribe to the main channel as well. Liking and commenting on this video would also be a huge help since the YouTube algorithm views interaction very positively, meaning that it boosts my channel a ton. Huge shoutouts to the prestigious collective of Bringle members who continue to be such kind supporters of the channel. I really couldn't ask for a better community. I appreciate you guys. Take care of yourselves and I will see you in the next video.